Jedi Knight Cal Kestis, seeker for the Jedi Order, Rebel Alliance Scout, Wookiee Abolitionist, and Force-Sensitive Archaeologist. Joining the crew of the Mantis in 25 BBY under the direction of former Jedi Seer Junda, Cal began the clandestine mission for the revival of the Jedi Order. A preliminary and premature evaluation of Knight Kessis' reveal an expert level competency in several forms. Strong foundational Shicho supports the fluidity from form to form. Makashi's philosophies of economy and grace influence spacing in the steps. Type block summoned by Soretsu, oscillating Ataru attacks. Debilitating Dejemso as well as slippery double-bladed Shien blast deflection forms the frame of Kessis' technique. Nuance bespoke augmentations to his lightsaber allowed for a lightsaber throw as well as supplemental Jarkai. Rising Whirlwind and Twin Strikes respectively as master level techniques. All these are demonstrated at expert level but not at master level. Cal's occupation and his master's philosophy of, quote, persistence reveals the path, defines him as a Nyman practitioner, being the galactic standard in the decadent last days of the Republic and multifaceted use in the Clone Wars, Nyman was likely to see widespread use, especially with Sentinel-class Jedi. These Jedi took up different occupations as opposed to Jedi's like Consular or Guardian class. They dealt with espionage, engineering, and other concepts that the Jedi Council would deem as mundane and not as close to the mysteries of the Force. Notable practitioners of Nyman include Darth Krait. Darth Maul, Starkiller from The Force Unleashed, Syndrawling, for, uh, Battlemaster of the Jedi Temple on TCW, and uh, Xbox Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith. Considerations by those who are familiar with lightsaber combat often describe Nyman as a complete lack of specialization, when in fact, to make up for a lack of specialization and relaxed blade work, which is something you're going to hear very often. Um, moderation is sought. In fact, Nyman is called the moderation form. Also contained within this jack of all trades, master of none style, was a collection, a collage, almost a qigong of telekinetic 
attacks conjunct or adjacent with strikes. So, you know, the draw closer, which is something we've seen in the Force Unleashed, Force Unleashed 2, plenty of that with Starkiller. Almost every day in TCW, somebody is getting choked and drawn in closer. That's right. I'm looking at you, Maul. Also a notable Nyman practitioner. Also, while we're talking about the Sentinel class and their adaptability beyond a lightsaber combat, I also want to draw your attention to the lightsaber of Cal Kestis and its augmentations. For those of you who are well versed in Masters of Lightsaber Combat, I draw your attention to Exar Kun and his many augmentations to his lightsaber that allowed him to control the lengths and even the density of the blade which for those of you who don't know that's a type of lightsaber combat where the blade is either withdrawn right or disengaged or the blade the blade's intensity is lowered to where younglings would practice with their practice sabers or even to the point where it's just a flashlight where it's just a beam of light and there's no plasma being emitted at all this served as just a, a point of unbalance a way of really focusing on the core tenets of nine man being able to change up in this jack of all trades forms as almost a rock paper scissors in order to you know keep the opponent off balance and not have to have such a heavy focus on blade work and now you see how the occupation status of the Jedi is definitely related to the philosophy of how they wield their saber and also keep in mind they see the light coming through the crystal as an, a form of self-expression within the force and they try to like the samurai's idea of right thought the first and immediate action is the correct one because of sincerity which is concepts that might be, um, you know, they'd have to be quoted upon an expert, especially to be um, discerned by a Westerner. But these are the thoughts that go into lightsaber combat. This is some of the philosophies that happen. And if we're talking about compassion and understanding in the Jedi philosophy, being able to express yourself through the Force with the saber and yet still preserve life which obviously is the difference between Cal Kestis being a Jedi Knight and a Jedi Master. For historic clarity, Nine Man was first depicted in Fight Saber, Jedi Lightsaber Combat, Star Wars Insider 62 by David West Reynolds and Jack Bobo. I hope you guys enjoyed this short meditation and analysis of Cal Kessis' lightsaber combat. Um, I totally watched The Rise of Skywalker. I miss Carrie Fisher. I know that we all do. But um, here's some bloopers and a little bit more combat just to make you guys feel better. You know, something for the self-quarantine. Alright guys, may the force be with you. He's quick, huh? 
Lighting up Imperial channels. They're sending everything they've got. In.